Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Boone, can I you guys a brand new video. Um, I burped like three times trying to say that intro. I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's been a weird day. I woke up like at 7 a.m., had to go to the dentist. XXX is dead, like it's just weird, bro. I'm in a weird mood. Honestly, I didn't even feel like making a video today. However, I didn't wanna just deny you guys the content. I know you guys skirt up on the Boone channel for happy vibes, for good content. So I figured like, bro, I got to make a video for the folks today, especially for those that are just kind of sulking from this whole XXX Tentacion Death. If you guys don't know who that is, it's a rapper basically got shot and killed yesterday. I've listened to his music like the last three years, literally like watched his come up. So I don't know, it just really hurts. It stings a lot for me. Probably one of my favorite artists, if not my favorite artist ever since Lil Peep died, but we're not gonna get into all that. I know some of you probably don't even care at all. Some of you might even hate him because of some of the stuff regarding his name, but like I said, we're not getting into that. Honestly, I was almost gonna make a video today just talking about him because I want to somehow like remember him on my channel, but um, I don't know, I don't want people to think I'm just using his name for like clout for subscribers because that's the hot news right now and I don't want to like have just that kind of impression so the only way I'm going to be remembering him is just saying RIP to him in this little moment in this um, intro of the video. Also I'm going to be using his beats a lot in the background music in my videos so if you guys pick up on that or notice the song or anything feel free to comment it. So let's just get into today's video though. I'm going to start off with a little unboxing. We got the Supreme TVT and if you guys don't follow me on Boone I'm definitely going to be having a crazy IG clout flick with this t-shirt. Um, um, I'm trying to do like just like a series on my Instagram where I'm just doing a ton of different pictures that are themed with different Supreme shirts and designs. And so I'm hoping that I can make some kind of video where I actually make one of the TVs in my house look like this and then get a little flick with it, with this t-shirt. I think that'd be sick and I think it'd be a cool series. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that. I've just been trying to come up with some new series ideas for my YouTube once this Supreme season's over with because I'm not going to be lagging on the content at all. I know some Supreme YouTubers um, will definitely like stop uploading the off season. I do not do that. That's not the case. I can't believe I just even called myself a Supreme YouTuber. I hate myself sometimes, but we're going to actually jump into the theme of today's video, which is my top five favorite Supreme items I own in my collection. You guys might be able to guess some of the items I'm going to show off in this video if you followed me for a while, because I've definitely flexed them on the YouTube before. You know, I have to do it. Are you even owning the item if you're not flexing it on YouTube? Let's be honest. It's going to be really hard to rank these shirts one to five because I love them all for individual reasons. They're all very difficult to acquire. I can definitely say that for sure. Um, honestly, I was going to diversify the type of items I have in this, like um, we'll use one accessory, use one pair of pants, like one like shirt, blah, blah, blah. But I decided against that and I decided I just wanted to do the items I actually like the most. I might later on down the road make some type of video talking about my favorite type of Supreme item I have in each of those little categories. But um, So let's just jump into the theme of this video. Starting it off at number five, I got the Supreme 40 Deuce Chucky e. T. I just showed this off yesterday, so this is a bit boring. I do apologize, but still deserved a slot in this top five just because this is such a sick t-shirt. My boys iced the hell up. I swear that chain is just so fresh. Um, I love like that spray paint graphic look they gave to this. Very 2000 vibes and it's actually a really good drawing as well. I love how that Supreme spell out on the side just looks so different from any Supreme spell out we usually see. I also love the bucket hat has Supreme branding as well as his shirt. A little mini box logo on the t-shirt. So this is like a triple Supreme flex all in one. As cringy as that sounds. Also it's a little bonus. I love striped shirts. My boy Chucky is fit it is hell in the striped shirt with the chain almost looking like a mini version of me let's be honest uh, this is definitely a crazy crazy shirt one of my favorites and a new acquisition like I said so not that insane but I got some better items to show you guys at number four this one's honestly not that rare or anything it's just the price tag on this thing so stupid I had to put it in this video we got the supreme box logo of course you guys have seen me wear this one before in New York um, I had to rock this one when I pulled up to New York I remember I was getting roasted like people were just like bro of course you're just wearing a box logo 24 7 now but I only did that when I was in New York I swear people thought I changed when I bought this box logo but it's still the same Boone the box logo don't change Boone I have two box logos and I honestly like almost never wear them like I've probably worn this hoodie a ton in New York but since then I think I might have worn this once while I was in Seattle um, box logo hoodies to me are just kind of boring Obviously, it's also crazy hot out, so I cannot be rocking this without sweating way too much. Um, it's a little too much heat for your boy right now, but hopefully I can rock it more in the fall winter. If I don't sell it before, then I probably will sell it, though, to be honest. It's like $800 just sitting in my closet. Kind of frustrating because I could be getting a lot more cool stuff. I actually might make a video of how much dope stuff you can buy with the money it costs to buy a Supreme Box logo. I'm thinking about selling this, and then with that money, just seeing all the different items I can buy. I think that'd be a cool little video 
idea just because the like price point of a box logo is just so ridiculous and there's so many better things you could get than just a little hoodie that says Supreme on it. But let's move into the number three slot now for this top five series. At number three, we have my Supreme Stone Island 3M knit sweater. This thing is crazy. One of my favorite things with this sweater is just the fact of how I got it. Um, I picked this up in a unreal bundle. I got this, a big sub spell out, like half zip. Next piece is this sub crew neck, uh, quarter zip. Um, I got this statues tee, I can't remember the proper name of it. Um, next up we got the Supreme Statues tee, I believe what this is called. Um, I also got the Gun Mendini tee. Next we got that Supreme Mendini tee. You already know how we coming, baby. This thing is so gorgeous. I also got some crazy dope stickers that homie threw in for free, which I did not expect. Uh, we got bronze. Uh, two Supreme Box logo stickers, this super, super sick, fucking awesome sticker, and then the first ever uh, Supreme advertisement, the Supreme Sumo tee. Um, I got all four of those items for $300, folks. That is like... Oh my God, that is a bundle I will never ever get another day in my life. Off the top of my head, this sweater alone is worth 300 on Grailed. This one's like brand new dead stock. I don't even think there is a black one on Grailed, but I could be wrong because I'm banned from Grailed. I sold that statues tee for like 70. I sold the Mendini tee for 70, and I sold the half zip for 180. So it's like, I pretty much got this for free, which is unreal. I actually made money off of buying this um, sweatshirt in a way. I absolutely love this thing. I can't rock it because like I said, it is spring, summer out right now. Now and it's a little too hot, especially because this thing's black. I would absolutely die if I wore it, but the 3M on this thing goes crazy. Um, one of my favorite pieces. I'm definitely going to be flexing this one soon when I get the full 3M fit on lock. That's coming soon to theaters near you. You already know we're going to be shining bright like a diamond. So we got two items left now, and honestly, I could go either way with both of these. Like I think they both deserve the number one slot. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick one and put it at the number two spot because they are both bangers. At number two, we got the Supreme Raisin Hell shirt. The only reason I put this at number two is because it doesn't fit me perfectly which is disappointing it's an XL and your boy's not quite that thick yet I'm still working on it um, but this is an unreal shirt you guys have definitely seen me rock this if you followed me for just a little bit I picked this up like a month ago I want to say um, one of my favorite supreme designs of all time top five without even thinking about it um, supreme needs to go back to these t-shirt designs man like these were the days um, unreal just everything about this hits it's funny it looks like aesthetically pleasing we got hundred dollar bill Benjamin's floating through the sky this shirt truly just has it all it's colorful I love everything about it one of my favorite supreme designs like I've already said um, I don't know what else to say about this shirt I love rare older supreme tees so this thing just hits crazy hard for me um, like supreme photo tees and supreme box logos are cool but these weird like older supreme themed tees are what really gets to me the most I feel like um, there's also a Nesquik version of this t-shirt I'm definitely gonna be trying to get soon um, to get a little clout photo for the gram with for number Number one, that leaves us with a Born Alone Die Alone tee, and I'm sure a lot of you could see that one coming. Um, I love this t-shirt. I've had this for about a year now. I almost never wear it just because I don't want to mess it up. Um, as stupid as that is to say, I'm sure some people will hate on me for that, being like, bro, like, wear your stuff. And I mean, I do wear it, but at the same time, like, this is literally one of those shirts where I can just have it in my room, and just seeing it, like, there in front of me, in person, in my possession, just brings me so much happiness. If something ever happened in this shirt, I would just absolutely, like, hate my myself. Um, these are incredibly hard to find, especially in this condition. Double especially in this colorway. The baby blue looking so nice. One of my favorite colors. My favorite Supreme design of all time. This is it. Um, and I'm so blessed to own this. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know this wasn't like the craziest video today. It's better than nothing though. I really wasn't in the mood to make a video, but I just want to do it for you guys. I got to keep the grind up. Got to keep the daily upload streak up. I think we're at like three or four days. My longest is like a week and a half. I'm trying to go for a month. Um, I think that'd be unreal. I don't know. I just want to get more active with my uploads. I just want to be doing more um, in every single way I can for you guys. I'm always just loving to make content for you all. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to stop rambling and let you go on with the rest of your day. If you watched up to this point, please let me know in the comments so I can show you some love because I do appreciate you guys that watch my videos all the way through. It's been your boy Boone though. I'm out. RIP X one last time. RIP Lil Peep. RIP Fredo Santana. RIP Kurt Cobain. And RIP this live cop I'm about to record this Thursday because I'm going to kill it. Uh, yeah, it's been your boy Boone. I'm out. Peace.